Oh, dia continue je. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Prof. Today our group will be present our term project milestone presentation called MKEL1123. Me, Nurul Ashkin Binti Rosli and my partner Muhammad Adib bin Muhammad Dan. We present our title Safe Tuning Parameter Fuzzy PID Temperature Control in a Hydraulic System using STM32F4. Nowadays, the better understanding of the potential of additive control strategy lights, self-tuning fuzzy PID controllers in many fields of science and engineering have led to the importance of researching aspects such as the analysis, design, tuning, and also the implementation of this controller to any relevant application. Hence, the design itself for the fuzzy PID controller can be viewed as a natural similarity to the conventional PID algorithm controller. Therefore, this project representing one of the application that can be used in the additive control approach, which is the self-tuning parameter and fuzzy PID temperature controller in hydraulic system using the STM32 F4 development board. For our objective is that uh, we need to implement the signal processing with real-time ADC using two of the picture sensor as input. Next is the implementation of ARMCMC's DSP PID algorithm with the hardware integration. We also use the output of ARMCMC's DSP PID algorithm for the PWM generation to control the speed of motor. Next is that to integrate the system as a closed loop for hardware and software after auto tuning process is done. And the last one of our objective is to, mi to mimic the whole system as self tuning parameter into the closed loop system, which is can be used to optimize the hydraulic system application. So, Prof, this is for <coughs> so Prof, this is for uh, project block diagram. So as uh, so as you can see, this is our this is our MCU. In our MCU, we use two of the library that uh, have inside uh, Nucleo 64 board. For first, we use the CMC DSP library. This is for uh, in this project requirement. And second, we use the hardware extraction layer. So in this system, first, two of the temperature uh, sensor will harvest the data in analog. So in order to use by CMC's DSP uh, library or PID algorithm library inside the CMC's, this uh, temperature sensor is in analog, but we use the ADC converter to let it uh, get the digital signal from this temperature sensor and this temperature sensor also will be using uh, I2C protocol to display in the LCD. So our CMC DSP library and PID algorithm will use this uh, input as the tuning system. This is because when we using the PID algorithm library, the output of this uh, PID function, arm um, PID function, we, pro we produce the duty cycle. So this duty cycle is needed uh, to drive the speed or PWM of our motor for cooling system to the temperature one to cooling the sensor one or sensor two. So this Fan also uh, uh, powered using the external fan supply. Next is the hardware setup. She can, you can explain the hardware setup. For the hardware setup, we have two sensors of LM32. We have uh, one 12 volt DC fan, one L298N PWM module. Uh, our LCD with the I2C module 
and last one is the LED for ADC reference. Next is our progress. For the first progress, which is the project proposal, uh, at first we have a different title. So currently we change it to another title, which we which already done in a milestone one in 16 November 2020. Uh, for the milestone two, we had a LED blinking and also project planning, which we already uploaded the video and it has been done in 16 November 2020 also. Next is that for the milestone tree, we had done all the requirement like interface I2C LCD with STM32 F4, the implementation of ADC for temperature sensor LM35 signal conversion, add a float and an integer unit value for from temperature sensor to live watch on cube max IDE, print a reference temperature and control temperature on LCD, integrated motor driver module L298 and into STM34 and a control motor using PWM uh, had been done in 1 January 2021. Next, Adip, can you can continue? After, so proud after, uh, after all the previous uh, progress, now in this video, we are fo focusing on the these four for uh, of this update. First, uh, the integration of ARM CMC library. This is because our previous milestone, we don't have yet uh, integrate the ARM CMC PID algorithm. And next, uh, we tune the PID algorithm and we integrate the whole system to be a closed loop or uh, automation. And in this video, we also uh, have code go through. And uh, we also uh, do the full demo in this video. So all these four uh, items will be covered in this video. So prof, uh, first. Uh, objective of this video, the integration of the ARM CSC PID library. So uh, this is actually the code go through. I just got. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Prof. Uh, okay, in this video, I will show you how our include our CMCs into this uh, project. So as you can see here, how we include the ARM map. ARM map is one of the CMSS DSP. So uh, we refer to one of the open source. It said like, if we include the ARM map, we need to define uh, which uh, Cortex M that we use. So here you can see the include file is here. We we put the we include the arm map function which is using for CMCs. Then in our main dot uh, C, you can see how we include this arm PID system into uh, our code and use this as the PID algorithm to solve the duty cycle. So, Prof, uh, this is uh, 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 okay. So, this is uh, <clears throat> so, Prof, this is the, how we tune the PID every day because previously I just go through the code and this is the hardware implementation. So, as you can see, uh, the LCD will display the current uh, reference temperature and the PID temperature. 
and this temperature okay, I want to show you when this uh, LED is uh, light off this is because our reference temperature is equal to PID temperature then this motor also will turn off so actually uh, this motor will be see when it turn off then the motor will be get slower because this motor will operate accordingly to the PWM that we produce from arm function PID. So actually this is like a closed loop LED. So uh, our MCU will calculate different temperature and PID temperature. Then the difference will be sent into arm PID aggregator and the PID will produce the correct duty cycle to tune the our motor. So next is the how uh, this is a code go through how we could for uh, this uh, project. Uh, so prof, in this session, I will uh, roughly go through what what uh, we implement in our code actually. So this is where we include all the external library and library that we use i did explain this on our on our uh, workflow documentation so this is we define uh, how many sensors that we use then this is our temper and uh, temperature reference and this is we define our temperature this is temperature after i mean this is temperature that we want to uh, to change and this is our reference temperature so I add, uh, so not prove that the PID uh, the PID parameter that we use in this project is not optimal but uh, our main our main point is to integrate the CMC's PID algorithm instead of I uh, mean uh, instead of uh, calculating the right PID that we use to Optim optimize this uh, project. So next, this is how we include the ADC because uh, we in previous milestone we got explained to you how we use ADC for sensor conversion and I2C uh, protocol that we use for LCD and this is uh, timer that we use to integrate our PWM. So this is how we declare initial declaration for temperature reading in sensor 1 and sensor 2 this is uh, initial uh, static uh, function that we include same as this one so as you can see here we call our PID and we it call this uh, function on PID instant F32 this one uh, for more detail can can be seen in uh, CMC's arm um, CMC's documentation. So what? So here we analyze the PID equal to one. Then this is part. This is how uh, I just put here to ensure uh, every time I run, then the port, uh, the MCU will be binky. So on this session, I just put whenever I run. Then there's our circuit to ensure our circuit uh, correct function. So this is for initialized uh, motor rotation. So our motor will uh, rotate in clockwise. So this is for uh, motor. How we uh, use timer five to generate the PWM using channel one. And this is for uh, LCD protocol using I two C protocol then uh, this is for signal conversion that we made for the signal conversion uh, because of uh, temperature sensor is measured using analog then uh, we need to do some correction to let it uh, move to digital then uh, can be processed by uh, CMCs so this is how we calculate the uh, we get the reference temperature if the because in our documentation we got say that 
if our temperature is more than temperature reference temperature then our led green led will light up if the temperature led less than temperature reference then red led will light up but the 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 difference of this temperature will point into pid error and this pid error will be uh, sent into the arm pid function which is the one of the cmc's uh, cmc function that we use here then it will return, return into duty then this duty will next will give i mean will be sent back to uh, timer 5 this uh, particular uh, function will generate the pwm accordingly to what duty cycle that we send here then this is just to print current temperature, uh, PID temperature, this is your PID tune, so this is PWN tune, this is the PWN that after CMC's uh, uh, calculate for us. And I think much this one is generated by So Prof, this is our full demo how the full system and a complete project that uh, we have made. Uh, so, Prof, this is our uh, full demo. Now, the PID team written and PWM team written from uh, the form CMC's calculation. From what we showed you previously, uh, we got observed the reference temperature and uh, PID temperature. Then the CMC we do calculation and return the duty cycle to let uh, this motor operate accordingly to the PWM written by the CMCs. Then, as you can see, the uh, the green LED and red LED. Green LED means like our reference uh, voltage is less than PID. Our reference temperature is less than PID temperature then this motor will uh, rotate accordingly to the uh, duty cycle written by CMCs then we use this uh, motor controller module to control uh, motor accordingly to the PWM and we also use the external power supply to give uh, power supply to this uh, motor so this is like a closed through system whenever uh, it detect either uh, PID temperature and reference temperature then this LED uh, will be switched if this LED be switched then uh, so prof this is so uh, for conclusion uh, for conclusion uh, the hardware and software are successfully integrated and the user the use this is most important the usage of CMC's DSP library for PID algorithm has been used in this project. Uh, we are able to understand and apply the knowledge of MCU. In this case, we use a nuclear 64 to the this system to work. And we also document all this project manual has been documented and a general writing has been uploaded. And we are able to complete the project with a requirement within the time given, which is uh, first we use the CMC DSP uh, uh, function with the PID algorithm together with our uh, MCU Nucleo 64 board. Uh, prof, that's all for our final presented project presentation. And thank you for thank you. me and uh, Ashikin. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Start record, start record.